Comparison is a work management platform that is completely configurable to meet your organizational needs. This includes workflow rules and scheduled workflow rules that enable you to set actions and reminders based on your own internal processes. You can define the actions to be triggered by specific changes to the data or to run on a recurring basis. Let's see an example of a workflow rule that ensures that all customer service issues are resolved within the company's service level agreement, or SLA. The SLA states that all critical issues will be resolved within one business day, and all other severity level issues must be resolved within seven business days. This workflow rule is available for all cases and is set to run each time a record is created with no evaluation criteria meaning it will run each time a case is reported. Using the trigger options and evaluation criteria, you can trigger workflow rules on any item and on any data change. The first action in this rule automatically updates the due date field of the case based on its criticality as stated in the SLA. The rule has also been configured to notify the assignee of the rule in the event that it's a critical issue, letting them know that they have one day to handle it. Using the variety of actions provided here, you can automate any of your organization's flows and requirements. Now let's see the workflow rule in action. Let's create a new issue, set the severity level to critical, and assign it to Frank. Once you click Save, you can see that the due date of this issue is tomorrow, because tomorrow is both a business day and the issue has a severity level that's critical. You can also see that a new post has been created, notifying Frank of the new case and its criticality. Now let's take a look at scheduled workflow rules. Scheduled workflow rules are similar to standard workflow rules, with the exception that they allow you to specify the date and time at which they will be triggered. You can trigger them on a specific dynamic date or on a recurring basis. For example, let's say you want to ensure your customer care reps are aware of their caseloads and focus on the critical issues first. To support this goal, a scheduled workflow rule has been created that automatically generates and sends reports to all of your reps on a weekly basis, listing all of their assigned cases and their severity levels. The scheduled workflow rule has been created on the user item and has been set to run repetitively in order to send the report to users on a recurring basis. This report will be sent every Monday morning at 6 a.m. The evaluation criteria is set to run only on users who are sales reps, meaning that only the relevant people in your organization will receive the report. Within the Set Action section, the Send Report action has been selected and the All Cases Assigned to a Specific User report has been chosen. The current object has been selected in the Assigned To field, ensuring that each user will receive their own custom report. The email is also set to send the email to the same user. Now, each sales rep will automatically receive a summary of all the cases assigned to them once a week, ensuring that the entire team is kept up to date. Automating your actions has never been easier, thanks to the scheduled workflow rule functionality available with Clarizen. To learn more about Clarizen, be sure to check out the other tutorials available in our training center and our wiki help site. We also highly recommend signing up for one of our daily live beginner or advanced webinars, where one of our Clarison experts can answer any of your questions. If you haven't tried out Clarison yet, be sure to do so with our free 30-day trial. Thanks for your interest in Clarison. See you back soon.